For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein of Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the color Lavender. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's an optional written pattern that can help out too. Link in the description if you'd like to grab that and follow along. We're using 6 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet Half double crochet Double crochet And treble crochet This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 6mm hook, and start off by making a chain that can wrap around your head and make sure that it is divisible by 4. And just as a reference, I'm going to make a chain of 19 and a half inches or 50 centimeters, so that comes out to about 68 chains. So we are back with our chain, and as you guys can see, I have also inserted some stitch markers in here as well. But what you're going to want to do from here before we do anything else is actually put this up to your neck, and then you're going to insert stitch markers into the four corners of the base of your neck, if that makes sense. So once when it's around your neck, you're going to do two in the back and then two in the front and then by doing that you're actually going to form a rectangle so I'm just going to give you guys my numbers just in case if you guys did the same amount of chains as your base chain as well so where my hook is that's going to be my first one so I didn't put a stitch marker into there so from here I counted out 13 inserted my stitch marker into the 14th from this point counted out 19 inserted my stitch marker into the 20th counted out 13 from here, inserted my stitch marker into the 14th, and then from here all the way down to the end I had 20 chains just like how I had here. And obviously the longer portions, which is my 20 chains, is going to be the front of your body, and the smaller chunks is actually going to be the side, which is eventually going to form the sleeves. But once when you guys have done all that, if you guys don't have my measurements, just make sure that everything is nice and even. If it's not, then either add a chain, take away a chain, do whatever you guys have to do. But once we have the proper chain count, we are going to go into our first chain that we just did with a slip stitch forming a circle that will eventually become a square. So how we're going to connect it is just by running our thumb along one side of our chain, making sure that it's not twisted. All the way down. Once when we make it down to this first chain that we made, we're going to insert our hook into that loop with a slip stitch so yarn over pull through everything on our hook and then once we get here we're going to be going in with single crochets all the way down until we get to our first stitch marker and then we will be doing an increase but <laughs> since this area where our hook is every time we slip stitch we're going to do an increase over here as well because we do need the four corners so into the same loop that we are currently in we're going to go in with an increase of three so right where we inserted our hook into that same loop we're gonna go in with one two and then three and then from here put one single crochet into every loop that we have going back down our work and then once we make it over to our first stitch marker we'll meet each other back so that we can do another increase of three together We've made our way over to our first stitch marker, so what we're going to do is take out that stitch marker, but don't put it too far because we're going to insert it back in once when we're done. But into that next loop, we're going to be going in with three single crochet into that same loop. So let's insert one, two, and then three. Once we have our increase of three into that one loop, we're going to insert our stitch marker back into that second loop that we have. So here's one two, three, we just want to insert our hook into that middle loop. And then once we have that, we're going to go back down, putting one single crochet into every chain loop until we reach our next stitch marker. Do an increase of three into there, insert your stitch marker into that second loop, and then we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into, and then we will slip stitch into this first loop together. 
we made it all the way down to the end of our chain or the first set of increases of three that we did and then into this first loop that we made for ourselves in this row we're going to insert our hook into there then yarn over pull through everything with a slip stitch and now this first row is now closed off and we can get started on the rest so once when we're here we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet and then into this next loop that we have this is our increase of three into the second loop that we're going to do so we can grab another stitch marker get it ready because we're going to insert it into this one as well but into this next loop we're going to go in with three half double crochet so we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three let's do this two more times into that same loop insert pull through pull through three one more insert pull through pull through three and then into that second loop we're going to insert our stitch marker and then from here we're going to go all the way down with half double crochets until we reach our next stitch marker and then we're going to be doing another increase of three into that stitch marker we're at our next stitch marker and what we're going to do is take out that stitch marker for now and then go into that loop with three half double crochets so here is one into that loop two into that same loop and one more three into that loop from here grab your stitch marker insert it into that second loop and then go ahead and go all the way down with half double crochets once you guys reach the next stitch marker do another increase of three half double crochets into there same thing with the last one and then we'll meet each other back once we're at the end of this row so that we can connect it together We've made it all the way down and we are now ready to close off this row so we are going to insert our hook into the second chain that we have into this chain up of two when we started off this row so we're going to count up one two insert your hook into that second chain from here we're going to yarn over pull through everything with a slip stitch and now let's just take a look at what we have so far so this is where we're currently at we have a lovely picture frame but from here, we're actually going to be working into the length of what we have. So this is going to be the front portion of our top. So if you guys need to flip it, go ahead and do that. Everything else is going to be exactly the same. But once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of two and then do the regular half double crochets, doing an increase where the stitch marker is. And then right when we get to this loop, that's right after that increase of three, we're going to start doing some front post double crochets. So to start off this next row with each other, we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. We're going to do an increase into this next loop that we have because that is where our stitch marker is into. Take out our stitch marker, increase of three. So here's one, two, and then three. Insert your stitch marker back into that loop. And then now that we're at this loop that is right after our increase of three, we're going to start doing some front post double crochets into half double crochet front post double half double crochet so how we do a front post double crochet is we're going to yarn over once just like how we normally would with a regular double crochet but instead of going into this loop that is on top we're actually going to be going behind this post that we have so we're going to insert our hook behind this post and then bring it on through the other side we should have three loops on our hook and then from here we're going to double crochet just like normal we're going to yarn over pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first front post double crochet. Once when we have that, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. And then for this half double crochet, we're going to take a look at the back. We're going to want to skip one loop in the back because that will count as the front post double crochet loop that we just did. So into the second loop that we see, half double crochet. And let's do the next front post double crochet together we're going to prepare for a double crochet we're going to be skipping this half double crochet post because we have a half double crochet currently into the top of that loop so we're going into the next half double crochet we're going to insert our hook behind that post bring it on through the other side yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two pull through two and that is our next one let's do just one more set together prepare for a half double skip one loop in the back insert our hook into that next available loop with a half double crochet and we're going to do one more front post double so prepare insert our hook behind this half double crochet post yarn over pull through one 
yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're doing this so that we can get a little bit of detail, a little bit of ribbing along the front, but everything else is going to remain the same. So just for this front portion, from this stitch marker down to this stitch marker, we're going to be going in with one front post double, half double, one front post double, half double, going all the way down. And then once we get right to this loop that has our stitch marker in it, we're going to be going in with an increase of three half double crochets. And the rest of this is going to be normal. Just put regular half double crochets into every loop, increase of three at the stitch marker, half double crochets into every loop, increase of three at the stitch marker. And then once we make our way all the way back to this first chain up of two that we made for ourselves, we're going to meet each other back so that we can connect it and then get started on the next row. We have now made it to the end of this row and we are ready to close it off again. So let's do that together. We're going to count up one, two loops, insert your hook into that second chain and pull through with a slip stitch. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of two. Once we have that, we are going to be doing half double crochets into the next two loops. So here is one, here is two, we're basically just making our way over to this next stitch marker. Once we're at the stitch marker, you guys know the drill, we're going to be going in with three half double crochets into that middle loop. One, two, three, insert the stitch marker back into that middle loop. And we are right where we started doing our front post double crochets. Now this next row is actually going to be exactly the same as the previous row, except we're going to have this extra loop right here. So into this extra loop, we're going to do a half double crochet, basically just doing half double crochets until we meet our first front post double crochet that we did. And then into this first front post double crochet, we're going to be doing another one directly into it. So we're going to prepare for a front post double crochet. And this is going to be a little bit easier since this sticks out just a little bit. We're going to insert our hook behind that front post. We're going to insert our hook behind that post. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two pull through two, basically just making this rib a little bit more prominent. And then into this next loop that we have, remembering we are skipping one in the back, into this next loop we're going to go in with one half double crochet. We have another front post double crochet to go into, so we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Go behind that post, and double crochet on through. And then into this next loop, skipping one loop in the back, half double crochet. And we're going to continue to do this all the way down, alternating between front post doubles and half double crochets all the way until we get down to our stitch marker. We're going to do an increase of three at our stitch marker and then the rest of this is going to be normal. So put one half double crochet into every loop, increase of three into the stitch marker and then keep doing that all the way around. Once we make it all the way around, you guys already know how to connect it. So go ahead and connect it into that second chain, do a chain up of two, and then do half double crochets until you guys meet your first stitch marker. Do an increase of three into there and then I'll meet you guys back once we have that little sequence all finished up so that we can talk about this front post double crochet section. So we are back and we've made it all the way around connecting into the first chain up of two that we did in the previous row. Did a chain up of two and then did half double crochets until we got to our stitch marker. Did our increase of three into that stitch marker loop put our stitch marker into the second loop that we just made into this increase of three. And now we are here. We are now looking at our third row of front post double crochets or fifth row of our entire piece. And now all we're going to do is start decreasing our front detail. So what we're going to do is put half double crochets going all the way until we get to the second front post double crochet that we have. So we're going to go past this one that we have right here. So let's do that together. We're going to go in with one, two, three. This is our first front post double crochet. Four. And then once when we get here, we're going to be doing another front post double crochet into this front post double crochet. And as you guys can see, this is starting to taper in just a little bit. The design is so this one only had two front post double crochets, but this one still has three. And the rest of this is going to remain the same. We're going to put a half double crochet, remembering to skip one loop in the back. Front post double crochet, half double crochet, front post double crochet, half po half double crochet. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we're at our second to last front post double crochet. And then we'll finish off this design section together. 
We are back and we have made it all the way down with our front post double crochets and half double crochets going all the way down. We did leave the last two front post double crochets so that we can do it together. And like I said, we're going to be just going straight past this last one that we have right here. So into this next loop, half double crochet, we're still going to do the second to last front post double. But once when we reach here, we're just going to go all the way down until we have our stitch marker with regular half double crochets. And then now that we're here, we can do our increase of three into this loop, just like how we've been doing. But we're going to keep doing this until the design tapers all the way down completely. I will meet you guys back just one more time once we've made our way all the way around, did our chain up of two, and did our increase of three just so we can do the next row together just as a really quick reminder but this is going to be the design for the next little bit of this top so i'll actually meet you guys back in just a little bit so that we can do the rest and then we'll talk about the rest of this top then we are back again and we have done up the beginning of this row we did our slip stitch chain up of two we did half double crochets until we got to that middle stitch marker, did an increase of three into that stitch marker, replace the stitch marker into this new increase of three into that second loop. And now we're ready to go in with more front post double crochets. So basically we're just going to talk you guys through it really, really quickly into the first front post double crochet. We obviously have two. Here's one. Here's two into this next I guess pillar of front post double crochets we're going to have four one two three we're about to work on the fourth and then this is going to have six one two three four five six and it's going to keep extending like that while obviously still maintaining the detail along this side how this is going to come to a point and then from there we're just going to continue on with our work so i'm just going to start this row off with you guys and then we'll move on from there but basically we're just going to be putting one half double crochet until we get to our next front post double crochet. And then since this is an even numbered row, we're going to do a front post double crochet into the previous front post double crochet. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert behind there and double crochet. And then we're going to keep alternating between half double and front post double crochets all the way down until we get to the second to last loop over here we're going to put one more front post double crochet and then keep doing this all the way around and then this should be good until you guys need to start working on our underarm this should end a little before then but i'll meet you guys back once we're done with our detail just to show you guys what we have so we're back and i actually just finished up doing our front post double crochet detail and i don't have any more of those to go into and that's actually perfect because that's right where I need my armholes to be. But if you guys need this to be a little bit bigger, go ahead and just continue to do more rows of half double crochets all the way around until these corners reach your underarm so that we can form the sleeve. But once when we get to the point where these corners can reach underneath our arm comfortably, what we're going to do is cut our work where it's at. So all we're going to do is do a chain of one and cut just like how we always do. And then from here, we're going to go in with half double crochets just along this bottom body portion and we're going to keep doing this all the way down for the remainder of the body portion but we will meet back at certain spots because we do want this to be bodycon so we're going to meet back so that we can cinch it, cinch in the waist can't speak cinch in the waist and then extend the hips and do all that good stuff as well so go ahead and cut where your yarn is at if you guys are ready to and then i'll meet you guys back and i'll show you guys where to insert your hook and then how we're going to combine these two corners together And just to let you guys at home know, I have a total of five and a half inches from this first row of single crochet all the way down to the bottom or 14 centimeters. And that is a total of about 14 rows. We are back. We have cut and tied our work and I'm just going to show you guys where I'm going to be inserting my hook into. It honestly doesn't matter. I'm just going to be inserting my hook in somewhere near where this first stitch marker is just so I can show you guys how I'm going to combine it so all I'm going to do fold that over and then I'm just going to insert my hook into wherever <laughs> and then we're going to make a slip knot insert that onto our hook we're going to do a chain up of two and then we're going to put one half double crochet into every loop until we get to our stitch marker 
And now that we've done one half double crochet into every loop right before we got into the stitch marker loop, what we're going to do is actually do a decrease, but this isn't for any real decreasing purposes. We're actually just going to do this so that we can combine this corner with the front corner without having to do a chain cut and tie and all that. So what we're going to do is prepare for a half double. We're going to insert our hook into this next loop that we're in. We can now take out this stitch marker. And then from here, we're going to grab the front corner of our work, insert our hook into that loop that has our stitch marker into it. We can take that stitch marker out. Once when we have that, we can yarn over, pull through two. And the two is going to be the first two loops that we have on our stitch marker. So yarn over, pull through two. We should have three loops on our hook, kind of like a regular half double crochet now. So we're gonna yarn over through all three and that is our decrease half double crochet in order to combine these two loops forming our armhole and now we can go in with the rest of our body so all we are going to do is put one half double crochet into every loop going all the way down and this is super easy peasy I'll just let you guys have at it from here but I will meet you guys back once we get to the next corner just so that we can combine those together just one more time as a really quick refresher We've half double crocheted all the way over to our other stitch marker that we have and we're just going to do our decrease one more time where we just combine this corner to our corresponding corner on the other side creating our armholes. So as you guys can see I have gone into every loop except for the loop that has our stitch marker in it so we can now take out that stitch marker. We're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook and then from here we're going to grab our other corner that we have insert our hook into that loop that has that stitch marker as well take out that stitch marker from here we're going to yarn over pull through two loops and the two loops that we have are going to be the loops that we just went into into the body portion so we're going to pull through one two we should have three loops on our hook and now it's just like a regular half double so we're going to yarn over pull through three and then that's it from there we're going to put one regular half double crochet all the way down until we make our way over to that chain up of two that we did when we first inserted our hook so all the way down this way and then we're going to attach with a slip stitch one more time we've just made it all the way down with this row of half double crochets and we don't have any more loops left to go into so we're going to slip stitch into this chain up of two that we did starting off this row so we're going to insert our hook into that second chain with a slip stitch and then from here the rest of this is going to be fairly simple we're going to do a chain up of two and then we're going to put one half double crochet into every loop that we have going all the way around and then once we get back here slip stitch into that second chain chain up two and keep working your way all around like that until you guys need to cinch in where this top needs to cinch in so around your waist or about an inch before your waist comes around I'll meet you guys back and then we can start to cinch that in and decrease together so this is where I'm at with our top so far we actually have a really cute crop top y'all can leave it like this if you guys want to but the size that I have is actually from the collar going all the way down I have a total of 10 inches or 25 centimeters and this just fits right underneath my bust and then from here we are going to start doing a little bit of decreasing so that this can taper down towards our waist so the only preparation that i did so that we can do that is inserted my stitch markers into these two corners that i have and they're basically just right where our underarm is just so that once we wear it this decrease won't really be seen so once we have our stitch markers in place what we're going to do is do our typical chain up of two that's how we work up to the next row and then we're going to do a half double crochet into every loop until we get to the loop that is two right before our stitch marker because we're going to be doing a decrease of three. So we've made our way over to our first stitch marker and we left the loop right before it, the loop that has a stitch marker in it. And we're also going to be going into the loop right after the stitch marker as well. So for now, we're going to take out our stitch marker and then into the next three loops, we're going to be combining them with a decrease. So what we're going to do is prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that first loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, and then into the loop after that, yarn over, pull through. We should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through four. So we're going to leave this last loop like that. And then we should only have two left. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two. And that is our decrease of three. 
And then once we have that, we are going to be putting one regular half double crochet into every loop going all the way down towards our next stitch marker. And we're going to do the same thing, but we will do it together. But really quickly, we're going to leave the loop right before the one that has our stitch marker in it. And then we're going to be going into the one after that as well. So I'll meet you guys back once we get to this point. We've made our way over to the other side of our work and we left one loop right before the loop that has our stitch marker in it and we're also going to be going into the one after that. So we're going to be doing a decrease of three together. Just like before, we're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through, into the one after that, yarn over, pull through, and then into the third, yarn over, pull through. We should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. From there, we're going to yarn over, pull through the first four. So there's one two, three, four. And then from here we should have two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through those two. And then if you guys want, you guys can insert your stitch marker back into that loop because that's going to be where we start to do our decreases again into the next rows. If you guys are going into every row or if you guys are going into every other row, that is completely up to you. But this should even out. But once we have that, we're just going to go back all the way around, putting one half double crochet into every loop going back towards our first chain up of two that we made for ourselves to start off this row and once we make our way there we are going to slip stitch into that second chain to close off this row we've made it all the way back around and we have closed off this row and we're just going to do one more decrease of three just to show you guys one more time so what we're going to do we're going to start off this row and then you're going to go in with one half double crochet until you get to this first loop that we have that's right before our stitch marker. You can take this stitch marker out now and then into the next three loops we will be doing a decrease of three as you guys can see this was the one that we had in our previous row. So all we're going to do is prepare for a half double, insert into the first yarn over pull through, into the second yarn over pull through, and also into the third yarn over pull through. We're going to yarn over pull through one, two, three, and four loops should have two loops left so we're going to yarn over pull through those two i will be inserting my stitch marker back into this loop just to make it easier for myself and then just do half double crochets going all the way back around do the same thing once we get to our next stitch marker and then we're going to keep decreasing into every row just like this until we get down to our waist and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can start to increase so that it can expand for our hips Okay, so we're back really quickly. We're not quite at our waist yet, so we're still doing our decreases of three into each of the sides, but I just wanted to give you guys a really quick tip. If you guys are actually along the edge like how I am, once when we go into our decrease of three, it could be right next to the chain up of two like how it should be because it will eventually start decreasing in towards the chain up of two. We obviously don't have any loops to go into, so we're just going to go into those first three loops with a decrease of three two, three, pull through four, pull through two. And then that's gonna be the first bit that our rows are gonna start off with all the way up until we get to our waist. So go ahead and keep doing this and I'll meet you guys back in just a few rows. So we have just finished up doing our decrease rows and this is what the bottom is looking like. As you guys can see, it's starting to taper in quite nicely. But once when we have this, we're going to want to start expanding out for our hips. So it's basically gonna be the same thing that we did, but instead of a decrease of three, we're gonna be doing an increase of three. But just to let you guys know, from the tip of our collar all the way down to my waist or where I stopped doing my decreases is a total of 13 inches or 33 centimeters. But once when we have that, we're going to start off our row just like how we've been doing with a chain up of two. Once when we get to that middle of our decrease of three, we're going to go in with an increase of three. So once when we get here, we're going to do our chain up of two just like how we always do to start off every row we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then into this first loop that we have that's actually the loop that was created by doing our decrease of three we're going to be going in with an increase of three so into that loop we're going to go in with one two and then three half double crochets and then from there put one half double crochet into every loop going all the way back around until we reach our stitch marker on the other side and then do another increase of three into that loop. And then we're gonna keep going around just like this until it has expanded to the point where it needs to expand to. And then I'll meet you guys back to show you guys what to do from there. So we're back with a really good portion of our top all finished up. We have this entire 
top portion with the sleeves already made out. And then we did our little decreases here so that this can cinch in at the waist and then also our increases so that this can expand towards our hips. And I am actually all done with my expanding. If you guys have a bigger chunk than me, then that's totally fine. Just go with whatever you guys need. But just to let you guys know from this top band that we did all the way down to where I ended, I have a total of 15 and a half inches or 40 centimeters. And then once when I have this, I'm just going to go all the way around putting one half double crochet into every loop until we reach the top of our hip bone because that's going to be where our slit starts and then also we're going to keep going back and forth just like that until we're ready to go in with our asymmetrical detail on the bottom so this next part is super easy go ahead and just keep going in half double crochet rows going all the way around and then once you guys hit the point where you want your slit to start go ahead and stop and then i'll meet you guys back We've just finished going in with the bottom chunk that just went straight down, no increases, no decreases, just regular half double crochets, and I'm finally at the point where I want to start doing my slit. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is actually figure out what side we want our slit to be on, and I want mine to be on the right side while I'm wearing it. So the way that I figured that was, since we have this detail in the front, this is a really easy way to indicate which side is the front, which side is the back. All I'm going to do is flip that around since I'm facing it. And then I want my slit to be on this side, so all I'm going to do is insert a stitch marker into any one of the loops on this side. This is just for a reference point. But once when we have this, what we're going to do from here is actually chain up one and cut so that this is secure. And then from here we're going to be going in with more half double crochets. And then into the second row and every row after that, we're going to start doing some decreases along the edges so that it can form a V so that we can have our little tie on the side. But keep in mind that the side that we are going to have our slit on, the opposite side is going to be longer. So just keep that in mind when deciding what side you guys want your slit to be on. But like I said, what I'm going to do from here is chain up one and cut. And then we will reattach our hook into the side that we want our slit to be on. Right before we insert our hook into the side, what we're going to do is try this on and make sure that we're going into the correct loop when it comes to our slit. We don't want this too far up or too far back. We want this directly into our side, so that doesn't have a real number count. Go ahead and just insert your stitch marker into where you think it needs to be on your body, and then now we can get started. So what we're going to do is take out our stitch marker. We're going to insert our hook into that loop that our stitch marker was in, and from here we're going to attach our yarn and start off by doing a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. From here we're going to do a decrease just into the first two loops. So we're going to insert our hook into that first loop, yarn over, pull through, and then also into the loop right after that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. And then from here, we are going to go all the way around doing half double crochets, just putting one into every loop until we get just two loops right before this loop that we inserted our first chain up of two in, because this is going to be the loop where the other side meets. And then from there, we're going to be doing a decrease once we do our chain up of two as well. So we're going to be stopping two loops right before we get to this loop that we have our first half double crochet in. We've just made our way all the way around with our first slit row, leaving the last two loops right before we get into this loop that we had our chain up of two in. So we're gonna do a decrease into these two loops and then do a half double crochet into this loop right here. So into this loop, we're going to do a decrease just like that and then into this last loop we're going to prepare for a half double go into that loop with a half double let's redo that because that didn't really work out with a half double there we go let's pretend the first one never happened but once when we get here as you guys can see we have the chain of two that starts off this row into the same loop as the last half double crochet that we have into this row and once we have that we're going to do a chain of two we're going to be flipping our work now flipping it over so that we can do a decrease into these first two loops and then go all the way back around with half double crochets, leaving the last three loops that we have on the side so that we can do a decrease into the third and second to last and then put a regular half double crochet into that last loop. So let's just start this off together. We can do the middle part by ourselves and then we will end off with a decrease and half double crochet together and then after that, I'll let you guys go at it from there. But we already did our chain up of two. We're going to prepare for a half double into this first loop we're going to insert yarn over pull through into the next one yarn over pull through pull through four pull through two and then from there go
go down, putting one half double into every loop going all the way around, leaving the last three loops in this row so that we can finish it off together. We've made our way down to the other end of our work, and like I said, we're going to be leaving the last three loops. We left one, two, three. We're gonna be decreasing into the third and second to last, and then regular half double into that last. So let's do that together. We're going to decrease into the third and second to last, and then put one half double into that last. And then once we have this, chain up two, flip our work, and then do the same thing. So decrease into the first two loops that we have, go all the way around. Once we make it around, leave the last three loops, and then decrease into the third and second to last, and then put one half double into that last. And then we're gonna keep going back and forth like this until we have just a little chunk of our slit because the remainder of the asymmetrical portion will lengthen this part of the top as well. So I'm gonna have roughly two inches or six centimeters, but I'll meet you guys back to show you guys what I have and then also how to start off the bottom portion. So we are back and we just went in with this little chunk of our slit that we have. And then from here, now we're going to start working on the increase portion along the bottom. So this is gonna be the bottom band and this is going to be fairly simple. We're first gonna want to see how long we want the bottom band along this side to be. I don't want this to be that much longer, so I'm just gonna go in with, so I'm just gonna make a chain that comes out to about an inch or three centimeters. Now that I have my chain, what we're gonna do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. We're gonna prepare for a double, and then into that loop that we blocked off with our thumb or the fourth loop from our hook, we're gonna go in with a double crochet. And how we do a double crochet is yarn over, insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're gonna keep doing one double crochet into every loop that we have going back down our chain. So we're actually gonna stick together because we are pretty close to the base. We just have one more double crochet to go into. This is our last one. And then now that we have this row, we're gonna to need to connect it into the base. If you guys need to flip your work over so that you guys can be working into the base just like this, that is completely fine. Well, once when we do flip our work, what we're going to do is count up two loops that we have into our base. So we're going to count the first available loop, second available loop, insert with a slip stitch to attach this row. And now our first row is good to go. And now that we have our first row all connected, we're going to need to do more. <laughs> so what we're going to do is slip stitch up the next two available loops to work our way up to the next row. So there is one and then there is two. Once we have that, we're going to flip our work and we're going to be doing double crochets into those back loops. So we're going to insert and put one double crochet into the first back loop. Next back loop, and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to that last back loop. And then once we get there, we're going to be doing an increase of two. So into that last one, here's one double crochet. And then there is two, and that is our increase for this row. And working our way up to the next row, we're gonna do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. We are going to flip our work and then we're just gonna be inserting our hook into the same loop that this chain up of three is in with a double crochet, making sure that we're going in through the back loops. And that is our increase. But once we have that, we're gonna be going in with more back loop double crochets going all the way down our work. And once we make it to the end, we are gonna be slip stitching into the second loop that we have in our base again. But this is what we should have so far. We're basically just doing an increase into every row along the outside portion of our rows that we have. And then once we keep going, this is going to extend until we reach the side of our work that we have. And then once we have that, we'll meet each other back so that we can start to do the other side, which is exactly the same thing, but with decreases instead of increases. So I'll meet you guys back once I have this side done. We are back and we now have our lovely little increase going all the way down to this point that we have. And like I said, now we're going to go in with our decreases. So it's gonna be the same thing, but just in decrease form instead of increase. So we're just gonna do the first bit together. We're gonna to do a chain up of three, that counts as a double crochet. Going to flip our work. And then into these first two loops, we're gonna go in with a decrease. So insert, pull through, insert, pull through, pull through three pull through two and that is our decrease and then go all the way back down into the back loops only putting one double crochet into every loop you will be connecting into the base exactly the same way and then when we work our way back up we're going to leave the last three loops 
so that we can decrease into the third and second to last and then double crochet into the last or no chain up three flip our work and then work our way back down until we don't have any more loops left into the bottom and then we can cut and tie and, and then we can get to working on the rest of this top we've just finished up doing the bottom border we have cut and tied and then once when we have that we're going to want to start working on our sleeves and that is going to be super duper easy i've already done one sleeve by myself so the first thing that we're going to do is actually just take a look at the first sleeve that we're going to start with and then we're going to do a decrease into these first two loops that we have right where our underarm is so that we don't have a gap when we actually go in with the sleeve so let's do that right now we're taking a look at the bottom portion of our sleeve we have these two loops that is actually connected into that decrease right where we connected the front panel and the back panel together and we're going to combine those two loops so we're going to insert our hook into this loop that we have right here right next to this chain we're going to insert our hook into this next loop that is on the other side of it and then once we have that we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook pull through once we have that we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet and then once we have that both of these two loops have been successfully combined and now we can go in with our rows of half double crochet and this is going to be really easy like i said we're just going to be putting one half double crochet into every loop going all the way around and once we make it back we're going to slip stitch into that second chain just like how we've been doing do a chain up of two and then continue to do our work just like that and i'm going to continue to do this for 10 and a half inches 27 centimeters or that's roughly about 20 rows or until you get to the top of your elbow we now have a chunk of our sleeve that reaches all the way down to our elbow and just as a refresher i have 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters and once when we have this this reaches my elbow so i'm going to start doing just a little bit of decreasing for the next few rows and this may be different for everyone so you guys can adjust however you guys need to but all i'm going to do is continue going in with rows of half double crochets but i'm going to be doing a decrease of two into every eighth loop so let's start that off together so starting off our first decrease row what we're going to do is do our chain up of two which is normal and then we're going to be going into the next seven loops that we have putting one half double crochet into each so we have two three four five six and then seven and then into my eighth and ninth loops we're going to be doing a decrease of two so we're going to prepare for a half double insert pull through next pull through yarn over pull through everything and that is our decrease let's do this one more time we have one two three four uh, not yet five six seven and then we're going to do another decrease together so prepare for half double insert pull through insert into the next pull through yarn over pull through everything and then that is going to be what we do for this row which is our first decrease row so seven half double crochets and then decrease into the eighth and into the ninth loop once we make it all the way around we are going to slip stitch into that second chain just like how we've been doing but once we have that i am going to continue doing my decreases but i'm going to have two regular rows of half double crochets in between so just as an example this is my decrease row a row of half double crochet no decreases another row of half double crochet no decreases and then into the row after that we're going to have a row of the same amount of decreases so seven half double crochet decrease into the eighth and ninth loop so i'm going to finish off this row do my two rows after this of regular half double crochets and then i'll meet you guys back just one more time so that we can do our next row of decreases together So we're back and we are about to do our next row of decreases, but I'm just going to show you guys what it was just one more time. As you guys can see, this was my decrease row. This was the decrease of two that we did. I did one row and then two rows of regular half double crochets with no detail into them. And now we're going to decrease together just one more time. So this is gonna be exactly the same way that we did the first one. So I'm gonna do a chain up of two and then from here go into the next seven loops putting one half double crochet into each we have one two three wait yeah one two three four five six 
and then seven. Once we have our seventh into the eighth and into the ninth loop at the same time, we're going to decrease. And that is it. We're going to continue doing this all the way around for this row. And then I'm going to have two rows of half double crochets with no details into those as well. And I'm actually going to be doing this set. And by set, I mean one row of decrease and then two rows of half double crochet for one more set. So in total, I'm going to have three. And then from there, I'm just going to continue all the way down to my wrist with just one half double crochet into every loop. But once when I'm done doing my three sets, yours can be as many or as few as you guys need. I'll meet you guys back just as a quick reminder to keep going down until our wrists. We just finished up doing our three sets and our set is a row of decrease and then two half double crochet rows right after that. I do have a stitch marker in at this point, but that's just so I can know where I started so I can show you guys what my work is looking like. So this was my first row of our decrease. This is my decrease right here. I have two rows of half double crochets right after that. We have our next row of decreases right here. This is our decrease into this row. Two half double crochet rows right after that. And then this is our last row of decrease right here. And then from here, we're just going to go all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every loop that we have until we get down to our wrist or until we want to have our cuff come into play. So I'm going to keep going for another three and a half inches or nine centimeters. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the cuff together. We are now all done with our entire sleeve minus the cuff, which we're going to do right now. So I've decided that I wanted my cuff to be just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go in with about an inch and a half or four centimeters, and that comes out to about six chains. Once we have that, what we're going to do is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that loop that we blocked off or that second loop from our hook, we're going to go in with a slip stitch. So let's do the next one together. Insert into that next loop, yarn over, pull through everything on our hook. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down our chain, just putting one slip stitch into every loop. Once we get down to the end, we're going to slip stitch into the base just so we can connect it and then also work our way up to the next row. So let's actually do that together since we are right here. Since we're right here, we're going to want to close off this row. So we're going to insert our hook into that next available loop that we have on our base with a slip stitch. And now this row is ready to go. Once when we have that, we're going to need to work our way up to the next row, which is just one slip stitch into the next loop that we have into our base. We're going to flip our work and then into this first loop that we have, we're going to be working into that back loop with a slip stitch. So insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. That next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to the end, which we are right there. So we're going to stick together. Once we get to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one. We will flip our work and then into that first back loop, we're going to do another slip stitch and then we're going to continue going down, putting one slip stitch into every back loop that we have until we get down to the base and then we will slip stitch into the base again. And since we're here, we might as well do it together just one more time. So we're going to take a look at the base, see the next available loop that we have in our base, insert our hook yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. And now this row is connected and we do need to work our way up to the next row. So we're going to slip stitch into that next available loop that we have in our base, flip our work. And then we're going to go into that first back loop, putting one back loop slip stitch. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around until we don't have any more loops left to go into. And then we're going to meet each other back so that we can seam it all up together. We are back and we are all finished up with our sleeve and now we just need to go into the row of single crochet just to seam this all up. The only thing that we need to do in preparation for that is make sure that our cuff portion is faced inside out. And by inside out, I mean you want the seam of this to be along the inside of our work because we don't want this and the seam to all be facing outwards. So I'm actually not going to flip the entire thing inside out, I'm just going to fold it over just like this and then work our way into there. But we're basically just going to sandwich the two ends that we have. Then we're going to single crochet, making sure that we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. So we're going to do the first few together into these first loop that we have into the front panel, just like that. And this is the back panel. This is the first loop that we have in the back panel. We're going to insert our hook in through there as well. 
Once we have that, we are going to single crochet everything closed. Let's do the next one together as well. So this is the next loop that we have in the front panel. And then this is the next loop that we have in the back panel. Insert our hook. And then we're going to single crochet. And we're basically just going to keep doing that all the way down our cuff. Once we make it down to the end, we're going to chain up one and cut. And then the entire thing that we just did for our sleeve, including the decreases and the cuff, go ahead and do this on the other side. We should have both of our sleeves all finished up now. And the last thing that we have to do is go in with our cowl. So for the first row that we're going to go into, it's just going to be a row of single crochet, nothing fancy. But we're going to be going in through the front loops. So when our work is facing us, meaning this ribbing that we have in the front is facing up towards us, we're going to insert our hook into the loop that is closest to us. So we can insert our hook into any one of these loops. That part doesn't matter. We're just going to insert our hook in through just that front loop. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, chain up one to secure. And then once we have that, we're going to go all the way around, making sure we're only going in through the front loops with a row of single crochet. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we have slip stitched it all together so that we can go in with the cowl. We've just finished up going in with our row of front loop single crochets and now we're going to start working on the cowl and that's going to be fairly easy but this is going to be going in with treble crochets instead of half doubles or doubles so let's do that together. So what we're first going to want to do is start off with a chain up of four. This counts as a treble crochet and then how we do a treble crochet is yarning over twice. We're going to insert our hook into that next available loop that we have from here. We're going to yarn over, pull through that loop that we just inserted our hook into, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our treble crochet. Let's do one more together. We're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into that next available loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through that loop that's in the base. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're using treble crochets for this portion because we want this to be a little bit more on the slouchy side. But speaking of slouch, we're actually going to have to do an increase into this row as well. So we just did these two together and I did one on my own. So I have a total of three treble crochets and then we're going to need to go in with a total of six trebles and then we're going to do an increase of two into the seventh. So let's do those six together. I already have my one, two, three. So we're going to go in with four. five and then our last treble crochet six and then we're going to be doing an increase of two into that seventh so we're going to yarn over twice into that next loop put one treble crochet and then we're going to be putting one more into that same loop so yarn over twice into that same loop that we just went into with another treble and then this is going to be the pattern that we have for the rest of this portion let's just do the next set together Yarn over twice. We're going to be going in with one treble crochet into every loop that we have into the next six loops. Here is two. Three. Four. Five and then six and into the seventh we're going to be doing our increase together yarn over twice and put two treble crochets into that seventh loop so there's one and then there's two and we're going to keep doing this all the way around once we make our way all the way around to this last loop over here we're going to slip stitch into that fourth loop we are back with our first row of our cowl all finished up where we did our increase into the seventh loop with treble crochets and everything is looking great. We just want our cowl to be a little bit bigger so we're actually going to be going into the next two loops doing the exact same thing. So let's just start off this first little set with each other and then we'll go from there. But we've already slip stitched into that fourth chain that we did from our first set of chain up before when we inserted our hook. So we're going to do the same thing. Do a chain up of four that counts as a treble. 
going to prepare for a treble, which is a yarn over two times. Into that next loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And that counts as our first treble. We're actually going to be going into the next six loops, just like this. And then into the seventh, we will be doing an increase of two. So I have one, two, three, four. Let's do two more together. We have five. And then there is six. And then into the seventh, we're going to be going in with our increase of two treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into that next loop with one treble, yarn over twice, go into that same loop with another treble. And we're going to maintain this pattern going all the way around. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with the length of the cowl. Now that we have our two rows of increases, we're now just going to go in with rows of treble crochets, just putting one into every loop, going all the way around until we have the desired length that we want. So I'm going to keep going until I have five and a half inches or 14 centimeters, and that measures out to about roughly seven rows in total. We are back with our rows after we did our increase rows, and I am very happy with the size that I have for my cowl. So from here, I'm actually going to cut and tie, and just to let you guys know, from the base all the way up to where I'm cutting, I have a total of five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. Well, once when we cut and tie, we are all done, so go ahead and just weave in all of your ends. And now that we've woven in our ends, this is our raglan asymmetrical cowl top all finished up. This was a lot of fun to do and figure out, and I'm really enjoying these raglan style tops. And if you guys are too, give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you liked about it. But if you didn't, give it a thumbs down and let me know how we can improve. If you love it, be sure to hit that bell so you know when there's new uploads for you. Be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. If you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel, links to Poshmark, Depop, and Etsy are down there too, along with the tools used. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.